welcome to Fairy Dust Crafts. My name is Gina and I'm located in beautiful British Columbia, Canada. And I am trying to get my craft room under control. That's why I'm here. Uh, one whip at a time and my whip graveyard is gigantic. Uh, today is August 21st. It is a Monday, but you'll be seeing this on Whip Wednesday. And let's dive right in with um, all of my projects from last week. So I have one finished object uh, that you've already seen it last week. If you were here, I'm just going to pull it out of my bag here now this is not like a true finished project but i am pretty much done uh, all i gotta do is i have like about half of my ends are woven in so i'm just gonna do the rest of them i think it's only the sleeves and then i'll just have to wash it and block it but i have a fully finished sweater right here i'm quite happy with it um i at first i thought it was too long but then i tried it i put like all of my stitches on a um waist yarn and tried it on and you know what it wasn't a dress it was a good length so i did my ribbing yesterday so i do have like some ends here and there but yeah, it's definitely out outside of my comfort zone, very, very much. I'm one who wears, I wear a lot of black and I wear kind of like the earth colors. So this is like a dark, this is by the way, the Franca uh, Cardigan, Franca by Daniela Muba. Uh, you'll find all the links to all of my projects uh, in my show notes. Uh, as well as like detailed information in my Ravelry account but what do you guys think it's very it's inspired by you know this summer's um, like color color of the summer uh, which is inspired by the Barbie movie that came out earlier this summer obviously so it's kind of like the dark pink of like the background no dark pink would be like the writing in their logo and then so was the white and then the lighter pink is kind of like the background it comes on uh so like that was kind of like the barbie font was kind of like my inspiration uh, let's I'm, i'll i hope i'll wear it you never know right like if you whenever you pick a color that's completely different to what you're used to I sometimes find that we don't really wear those items uh, especially if it's something larger or like something like a staple piece like a sweater uh, maybe a cardigan is a little different um, and then like accessories you can do whatever color pleases you but I always find whenever I do like a super loud color for let's say a hat I don't really wear it like I always go back to kind of like my more toned down earthy colors I find I suit those really well and that's what I wear so my fun colors are all in my socks um which I wear all the time because you can't really see them uh unless you look closely speaking of socks I have two socks that are my current whips let me just put all my stuff out of the way um they are in my little project bag by studio Britta love this so cute and I actually crammed two like two cakes of yarn in here and then my extra needles are in here uh, so it's a little tight but my first sock let me just get everything out of here and get rid of this uh, my first sock is the cozy autumn let me just consult my notes here the cozy autumn socks by this handmade life and i 
I did this yesterday. Too many ends here. Um, I'm just starting my gusset decreases. So you can kind of see my pattern here. If I stick my arm in it. So this is the pattern. It's kind of like a, it's a lace slash faux cable. Uh, and then I did my heel flap yesterday, as I said, and heel turn. So now I just do my gusset and then I can um, move to the foot. So this is sock number one, sock one out of a pair. Um, I'm really hoping to have this done by the end of the month because you'll see why later um this yarn by the way is uh k sip flips it's on her garibaldi fingering uh sock white yarn and colorway donut dreams which is a it's my uh mystery monday yarn subscription and for that was july yes july and then this is february same subscription, I center pulled, which I usually don't do. I kind of like don't like how messy these skeins get when you, or they these cakes get when you center pull. But this is February. And what I did for this is, and I'm actually, oh, I'm a little further, but we're like almost in the same spot here. Uh, so it's kind of like a self patterning. I thought this yarn, I started and I wasn't quite sure what to do. I thought this yarn really deserves a little bit of a texture. Uh, so I just kind of like came up with my own pattern. Um, you'll find all the information for that. So like, so you can actually follow what I did uh, in my Ravelry project page for this. I think it's still missing a, pretty sure it's still missing a picture, but I will snap one later and update all of that so you can find it easily. I call them the February socks because this is the February colorway for the Mystery Monday socks. Um, and then I'm just right now working on my gusset decreases. So two pairs of socks, one of them that needs, that has a lace pattern that needs a little more attention. And then one that's kind of like mindless knitting because it's just knit to purl to um and i don't need to pay much attention a little more than a vanilla sock but i find like for what i do it's a perfectly fine kind of like no-brainer sock now let me just consult my i have notes i actually and i did today i don't know why today i wrote them down on like little pieces of paper and i don't think that's a good idea um Okay, so on to my next work in progress, which I, same thing, I think I should be done with this in hopefully, actually hopefully tonight. I should be able to really finish this tonight. It is a hat and it is cable. So I usually just stick my cable needle somewhere in there so I won't lose it. Um, let me just put that back in here. So this is what it looks like. It is kind of like a, maybe a little harder to, no, you should be able to tell. So it is cables, two different kinds of cables. So there's one strand right here and then one comes up right here. Um, this is the Westerly hat by Tin Can Knits and it is out of their book, Lazy Sunday. I bought the book like, yeah, I think when it came out. Uh, so like it has every there's everything in it like sweaters cardigans uh accessories so i every once in a while i go back to it and just like pick a project and i think i need to make i still haven't done anything larger uh but i think i want to make one of those sweaters that are in there which are really really pretty um so this is all points north divine dk uh same yarn that i used for my stripes sweater and i love it like it's beautiful the colorway is he knew what he was doing it's part of the pedro pascal uh collection 
I love this yarn. It's so cool. Like it's kind of like camo, but it's got the blue in it and little speckles of like a rust kind of color. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love knitting this um, and it's like so soft. So this hat was actually a request by somebody and I'm, I'm knitting this for somebody else. Uh, I'm a little sad to part with it, to be honest, but I think I will, this is not, it's my first, definitely not my last Westerly. Uh, Cause it's just so beautiful. Now that is my, I was just gonna lie, that is not true. That is not my last whip. So all of my whips, uh, if you haven't seen my previous, um, my previous podcast, all of my whips are in a one step, like just live in my project, current project bag. So obviously there's more than one because I have like several projects on the go right now. But basically if you imagined like a basket where I put all of my current projects in, that's my current whips and that's all I'm, I work on. Now I have one that I literally just cast on during lunch today. And I'm not very far, like literally not very far. I have like a, oopsies, ah. I have like a itty bitty little cuff, like this is it. Um, this is just gonna be a pair of fingerless mittens in this beautiful kind of heathery gray color. This is Drops Nord, uh, which is, sorry, my tag fell. Um, Drops Nord is, a uh, alpaca and wool mix. It is 45% alpaca, 30% polyamide, and 25% wool. Um, it is incredibly warm. I made a pair of socks, DK weight socks. So I held two strands together for my husband last year, and he absolutely like he loves them. They're very warm, very soft. I accidentally put them in the washer not too long ago, so now they're a little fuzzy. Uh, I don't, it's alpaca, I don't put alpaca in the washer. Like, I wouldn't. It's really, I think they say you can. No, they say you can't. Uh, they say, hand wash. Uh, you can still hand wash it warm, but definitely hand wash. Um, so that was a little oopsie but absolutely gorgeous yarn. I started, lots of you people call it market prep. I don't really go to markets, uh, but it's kind of like my winter prep. I do sell my items um, in Kamloops, uh, Kamloops BC at the Artisans Bazaar, Kamloops Artisans Bazaar. Um, and I need to restock my booth for winter time. So I am like, I started cranking out, I started cranking out um, fingerless mittens again. So mittens and I will send some socks down there and probably a handful of toques, but mittens are kind of like my number one thing down there. Now, um, I have, so if you've been here before, uh, and you watched like my previous, uh, either my inaugural uh, episode or my second one, this is episode three. Um, if you've been here before, you know that I am working on really getting my UFOs, my unfinished objects done. Um, either literally finishing them and I pulled out a couple of them, but I, since I'm done with my big project, my car, uh, my sweater, I pulled out one of those UFOs and I am going to finish. So I really just kind of like clipped it together here, but this is a shirt. It's um, the Cable Back Shell by Pearl Soho. So there's a bunch of birds out there. So it has a cabled back. And the front is just kind of like a v-necky kind of thing. Uh, or I don't know what you call this. 
I don't know. Uh, I made this using linen, uh, sandless garn, tin line. And all I gotta do is seam the back, so like close both, or seam the sides, close both but the sides, and then I will have to pick up um, the stitches around the sleeves, where the sleeves go, and do something with it. So in the pattern, it tells you to um, pick up stitches around the sleeves and then bind off as you go. And I don't like the look of that. So it will just really be a shell. So it's kind of like, a, like this is it. It doesn't have a sleeve or anything. So what I thought I'll be doing is um, maybe just knit like, you know, about this much. Not very much. Like two fingers wide is what I'm trying to say. And, uh, and then like do a little bit of ribbing. It has like a two by two ribbing on the bottom and a lot around the neckline. So I think I'll just repeat that and do a two by two ribbing just for like a little bit uh so i have like a tiny little bit of a sleeve uh otherwise i just feel like i look at the pictures and i look at other people's projects on the ravelry page and i just feel like it looks unfinished um so i will play around with that a little bit but this is gonna be like hopefully like it's not a lot of work so hopefully i'll be done with this uh next time you you see me here uh, because it's really like it's such a small little thing and it's so soft it feels really nice I want to see this all you know washed and blocked I hear that um, this yarn uh, like washes up beautifully and gets like really soft and really nice it's still summer I know it's August mid-August almost the end of August actually oh crazy time flies doesn't it that's nuts um so anyway so i'm i can still wear this for another like couple months or so or even like with a cardigan over top and like look like my colors actually like everything goes with it so i want to finish this and wear it because that's the point right um we knit so we can use whatever we knit um i've i'm for a little while, because I do sell my items, I've always been like, oh, I knit a thing and I finish it and I'm like a project knitter. But really in the last little bit, I figured that I am a process knitter. I just enjoy knitting on its own. I don't wanna like crank out a million projects anymore. I don't, I just, I don't really enjoy it that much. Um, obviously like I, I just enjoy knitting on its own so I like I wear my socks and all of that but um anyways I digress uh process over project knitter I think is who I am at least at this point in my life Okay, so this is a brand new topic we're talking about here. I started a knit along uh, last Saturday, November 19th. Um, and I am knitting, I know that there's like a couple people knitting along with me, but I would be so happy if you would maybe join me if you're just like popping in here. I am knitting the November jacket by Petite Knit. It is a kind of like oversized looking cardigan. It is all brioche and it is beautiful. Uh, I'm knitting this so we can wear it during the colder season. And because it's called the November jacket, I was like, huh, let's just call it November for November. And I cast on on Saturday, I did an Instagram live I do those every once in a while, so if you want to join me, uh, just hop on my Instagram, uh, follow me, and you'll get all the updates. But I haven't gotten very far yet. <laughs> I started with, this is kind of like the middle part of your um, collar, and I know it's maybe a little hard to see here, but no, it's not too bad. And then I just started my increases for, uh, this is the shoulder. So this is the back of the cardigan. We start like in the middle of the back and then we start going outwards. Um, so I'm not very far yet. This is like maybe half an hour, 40, 45 minutes of knitting-ish. Um, I love 
knitting single color brioche. I know some people are very intimidated by brioche. You don't have to do two colors um, when it comes to brioche. You can just do the single color. It makes for the most beautiful, squishiest fabric. It's absolutely gorgeous to wear. So this will definitely, it's a worst of weight yarn, so that will definitely keep me warm. Uh, the yarn that I'm using, yes, where are you? Where are you? Here. Um, the yarn that I'm using is Barocco Vintage and I think the colorway is Douglas Fir. Um, definitely my color. I was debating between Douglas Fir, so like a deep, um, heathery green or black. And I was like, I'm not going to do myself any favor if I do black. That's not going to be a good idea. Uh, anyways, so I do have, I started this, the knit along has already started. Uh, and it will run until November 5th. And I set up a Ravelry group. So as usual, you get all of the details in the show notes. I have all of my links, everything on there. Uh, join my Ravelry group if you want to knit along. I have, so there's one that's just for the November Cal. I have a couple more Ravelry pages in my group. So if you want to just hang out, uh, follow along, uh, join my group and we can discuss anything knitting. I've got one for socks only. So if you got like, if you want to show me your finished socks, I would love to see them. I love seeing everybody's projects. Um, or if you have any questions, if you have questions about knitting in general, or you know, what's my favorite color? It's green. Um, any kind of questions that you'd like answered, uh, just pop into the Q and A thread and I'll, um, do my best to get it answered. Um, but yes, there's definitely a Ravelry, um, thread for the knit along. I'm super excited about that. Uh, and if you are on Instagram, um, and you want to knit along, if you post any kind of pictures, uh, either in your stories or in your feed, um, use the hashtag November for November. Uh, and we can see what's happening. So I've already used my hashtag. Sometimes I forget, so I have to like go in and edit. Uh, but I'm trying to be better about that. Uh, so it is, there are prices. Very, very important to say. There are prices involved. I haven't shown anything yet because I'm not quite ready yet. Uh, but I have everything planned out. I know what's going to be in there. So like stick along for all of the prices. I'm super excited. Um... And as I said, it is a all over brioche cardigan. It is not easy. So Ravelry, the people on Ravelry say it is difficult. So they have like the difficulty rating is pretty high. However, I looked at the pattern. I think it's absolutely manageable. If you are a advanced knitter or even, and I'm trying to be really careful with this, even if you are an ambitious, advanced beginner, I think you can absolutely do it. Um, Petite Knit has on her website the most amazing uh, links or like tutorials. They're all on her website so you can watch all the videos. I was honestly, I knew I didn't have to, but I went in there and... Um, just as I got started, I watched a video on that part first. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I knew it was going to be like this, but it's good to have a visual, especially if you're doing something new. This is my first like larger brioche project. I did my first ever brioche increases and it was absolutely easy, especially seeing everything, like having the visual, seeing everything on video. Uh, that was very helpful. So I think... An ambitious, advanced beginner can absolutely do it. Uh, key is to like read the pattern closely, pay attention, uh, watch Petitness videos, and just go slow. 
And if you do have any questions at all, uh, as I said, just pop into my Ravelry group and this is where we can exchange ideas, right? So if you got any questions, pop them into the Ravelry group because you're probably not the only one who has that question. And I hope I can answer it. If not, then I will do my best to find some place and find an answer to your question. Because if I can't answer your question, I have the same question. I got some mail. Um, I haven't, so I've cut it open, but I haven't looked at it yet. I know where it's from. It's from Casey at Knits. And I am 99.8% positive that this is my Mystery Monday for August, which means if you were here last week, I need to finish my yarnable for August still. And then this, well, with this one, I'll have until like mid September until the new one comes out. Uh, but this. Ooh, pretty. Oh, I love this. Look at that. Oh my God. Hope you can see it. Is it upside down? It's upside down. Uh, how pretty is that? Um, so this is Mystery Monday, uh, August. And it's a limited edition color, just like all of the Mystery Monday colors. It's called Citrus Smash. And I absolutely love it. I am excited to be knitting this so I got this subscription once a month um, and my goal is to knit for both of my subscriptions that I have so both Yarnable and my Mystery Monday I am very confident that I can knit two pairs of socks in a month absolutely so by the time the next subscription comes out, or by the time I receive the next subscription, um, I should have a pair of socks finished. Doesn't matter if they're regular size socks, vanilla, pattern, shorties, whatever it is, I just have to use the yarn and then move on. Um, I'm excited, this is really cool. So. You already saw earlier, you already saw my uh, July one donut drinks. So I will have to finish that ASAP so I can cut into this. So in like a month, I should be done with these. And because I decided not to, oh, so when I started, I was like, oh, maybe I'll do something different. And then in like June, I realized that I do not want to do anything different with this yarn. Uh, all of my Mystery Mondays need to be socks. So and now I'm catching up. And that's why you saw uh, both February and July just now. So I'm hoping to be done with those soon. I still have, oh, I got to do a full pair. So two and a half socks. I can do it easy as that right that's all the mail I got this week uh thank goodness I did buy some yarn so the drops more you just saw I bought like a boatload of that um but that's just kind of like not important I know I should use whatever else I have but yay, every once in a while you need to just add to it right I'm still very positive that getting, even if it's just my two skeins of yarn or two hanks of yarn every month, uh, that like yarn coming in should help me with using up more yarn. I know it does not make sense, but like in my head, it kind of does. So that was it for the knitting and crafting part, really just knitting. I've been just focusing on knitting uh, and that's it. I haven't been doing anything else in terms of crafts. I have a bunch of stuff lined up in terms of knitting and I just want like, I need those all out. Um, life is a new category. Well, just I'll just 
give it a try maybe uh it's gonna dissolve in a couple weeks or months um but i thought i would just share like a couple things out of the life um i don't do much fair warning i go to work and i knit and i sleep and i drink coffee oh i forgot about my coffee oh my god forgot about my coffee it's like lukewarm now it's pretty much cold now oh sad that's what i do like i make a coffee and then i forget about I get distracted easily. Anyway, so I don't really do much uh, in terms of like outside of here and outside of work, um, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to come up with a one thing a week uh, that I can share with you guys. If you're only here for the crafting content, um, I won't be sad or mad if you like tune out now and I wish you a wonderful evening or day or afternoon or morning or whenever you're watching this um and I'll see you here next week for everybody else who's staying around um we watched the Super Mario movie yesterday and it was so much fun it was like a trip down nostalgia rainbow road and if you know what i'm talking about then like that's the movie for you it was so funny um there's a bunch of a uh, bunch of comedians in it uh just the funniest movie it's so fast like i think it's 90 something 95 minutes long and it's just like it was so fast like fastest movie ever but so much fun so i highly highly recommend that um we had a blast both my husband and i are like children of the 90s i guess yeah we're born in the 80s so like we're children of the 90s and it was just everything i would ever wish for uh we're both of us are like huge nintendo fans we grew up with nintendo both of us so everything was like mario bros that you do recognize like i recognize every single thing and i'm like oh that's my favorite track in mario kart and oh remember that and oh look at that it's so much fun uh so highly recommend it too funny um other than that i haven't really been doing much it's very smoky these days and so like i don't go out when it's smoky because i do have asthma and i can feel it it really hurts like it hurts to breathe um but it's not too bad so like our neck of the woods is not affected too much by the fires right now knock on wood uh usually it's us who gets it um but uh it's just it's devastating to watch i've been reading um i do like reading and i usually so i don't read i don't get like nearly as much reading done as i would like to but i've been reading under the tuscany sun um it's like a classic really it's such a wonderful book it's so beautiful uh so i read that like every night before i go to sleep and that's about it. I have big plans for knitting for next week and definitely for the weekend. I'm hoping, so last week has been really, really busy and I'm hoping that things are gonna, just for maybe a week or two, I would really, really wish for things to just quiet down a little bit, um, just so I can keep up <laughs> and like get my things in order. But other than that, my life, it's, it's been pretty boring around here, except for knitting. And I'm gonna go, um, I think I'm gonna go make myself a new coffee because that coffee over there is cold. So fresh coffee, and then I will do some housekeeping and get it clean. And then I'll sit down and finish my sweater. Uh, if you are on, if you follow me on Instagram, I will 
put a picture on there as soon as if it's as soon as it's um dried and I'm excited to like try it on and see how it fits and show it off um in the meantime happy crafting you guys and I will see you here hopefully again next week bye <laughs>